you, you're, you're, you're paying taxes on your building. Guess what? The building doesn't send any kids to school. You're paying taxes on garbage. Guess what? You have to have a dumpster in the back and pay for the dumpster removal. Okay, so now what does that leave you? Police, fire, ambulance, or public works. Okay, public works. You're gonna, they're going to plow the street like they're going to plow anybody's street. Uh, police, fire, or ambulance, you're hoping that you never use those because that's an emergency or something. So every penny that's being brought to the city by a business is, is, is total, a total positiveness. Now, also what a business pays, personal property tax. Stuff they have inside. Yeah, tables, refrigeration, machinery, whatever it is. Now, a, a property uh, has uh, the business has to pay that too. Again, nothing but a home run for the city. And so now you've got you got the you got the redevelopment uh, project happening going forward you know, from Life Touch to the bridge right out of here, basically. Route thirty four widening, something the, the DOT says. Yeah, that's going yeah, to happen. We, 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 if, and then we you got the DOT parcel in here. Yeah. That you just had the groundbreaking for the other day that opens up twenty something acres to uh, industrial development. Exactly, exactly. We have so much going on. You made a perfect uh, statement uh, a couple weeks ago. You said to me, it says, Mayor Staferi, in two, three years from now, we're not going to be able to, we're not going to recognize Derby as it, as it is now from what it's going to be. And that was drawn and from the plans for the, this. The, the plans for the Main, like, Main yeah. Street widening. And turning it into a main street, not a highway. How do you convince the people that it's true, though? Because whenever, I mean, people... It's fully funded. <laughs> it's just like, you know, unfortunately, it's the opposition. The opposition just goes around filling the pe uh, people's heads with lies and innuendos. Look, it's the same group of opposition that went against the uh, United Methodist Homes for be, uh, behind Heinz's farm. It's the same group that scared people to death. Right now, we'd be getting an extra million dollars in taxes, but these people scared people when we went to referendum. Well, they scared people so bad, they were, it confused them that they, they, were, they were making statements saying that, uh, that the city was going to pay, the, uh, pay the, their mortgage for them. And all of it was is that they were, we were allowing them to use the same interest rate that the city borrows money at. That's all. But they lied and misconstrued the truth so badly that would, they scared people. Right now, we'd, we'd be gaining a million dollars in, in taxes for an elderly complex. It's just that we wouldn't even have to be uh, bring using... Bring revenue from the town. Yeah, bring Before revenue to the town. Again, it becomes private and it's a business. The city doesn't have to provide any... Uh, one thing that you brought up, there's been a company, we have a Facebook page, very active, and uh, one person, I don't remember his name, has asked a few times whether the development across the street here, Eclipse, are going to get any type of tax breaks or tax None incentives. None at all. Mm -hmm. to, I've been here for almost six years now. Not one person... Not one business has been given any kind of a tax break, tax incentive from the city. We haven't negotiated anything. Nobody. Nobody has gotten anything. I believe it was uh, David Joel that asked that question. I don't, oh, yeah. <laughs> you're right. All right. So you're, you're watching our Facebook page. Oh, I, well, I pay attention. And, you know, 